Hey everyone, welcome back to another recap podcast from SNX Weave, where we give quick weekly recaps of news and important updates from the previous week from the Spartan Council and core contributors, as well as discuss what the Grands Council and ambassadors are up to, so let's get started. First, in exciting news, the V3 LP app is now public and live on base. Users can now participate as liquidity providers by supplying USDC collateral to the Spartan Council pool. In return, you'll earn a share of Perp's trading fees and be eligible for USDC LP incentives provided by the Synthetics Treasury Council. As liquidity grows, Synthetics V3 on base will be able to support increased open interest and introduce new markets. To get started as an LP and learn more about the incentive programs, follow the instructions in the article linked in our blog. While we're on the topic of Andromeda, let's do a quick update on the scaling of markets on base. There's about $20 million in daily perps volume, over 400 million in cumulative volume, and over $10 million in LP-backed collateral. Now that the LP-backed collateral has surpassed $5 million, the OI caps are being raised, which paves the way for adding new market listings already approved by governance. This is perfect timing to capture the recent activity surge on base, where TVL has doubled over the past month with consistent daily transaction volume over $500 million. Next, the migration of L1 SNX to V3 using the V3 legacy market is expected to be ready this month. The UI is being prepared for this SIP and fork tests are being simulated for the migration. This will mark a major milestone as it would give large L1 stakers the ability to seamlessly migrate to V3. This is also a prerequisite for the scaling of L1 perps. And speaking of L1 perps, the third audit is underway and expected to be complete this month. The synthetics deployment to Arbitrum has also been deployed and has initial deposits. In other discussion, Millie brought up a bridging issue that several community members have brought to his attention. There is currently a UX issue when bridging to Optimism where the estimated gas is much higher than it should be. When Optimism upgraded to Bedrock, there was a compatibility issue with the old bridging contracts, and the temporary solution has been to display higher gas estimates. They're currently working on it, but the actual gas ends up being about 10 times lower than the estimate. And finally, we had one SIP presentation last week, SIP 371, so let's briefly review that. Presented by Afif, this SIP proposes adding Athena's SUSDE as LP collateral to Synthetix V3 on Arbitrum. The Arbitrum deployment is still paused, but this SIP is seeking pre-approval to add the asset as an LP collateral once all the other governance processes approve the full launch. This addition will help scale the Arbitrum deployment by bringing liquidity to Arbitrum faster. And the proposal specifies a $50 million cap minting at a 125% C ratio with a liquidation ratio of 105%. And that's it for today's updates. Be sure to check out our weekly recap blog post, share this podcast link, and let us know what you think and what you'd like to hear more about from SNX Weave. Thanks for listening.